hello everyone welcome back to tech genie so in this video i will be explaining that how you can deep load windows 11 while installing so it's a better choice that while installing you should install windows 11 with the less bloatware so that you can get the best performance so all the magic begins on the installation screen only so let's say if you are on the installation page now where it says time and currency format you have to click on the drop down and instead of English United States or any other location, you have to choose English World. Then keep as it is. Click on Next. Click on Install Now. And the setup will be started. Now it will ask you for the product key. So if you have it, then you can enter it or you can click I don't have a product key. Now it will ask you the addition. So I would recommend you to go with Windows 11 Pro. The rest is all up to you. Click on Next. Check the agreement box, click on next, click on custom, choose the location where you want to install Windows 11. So I will select this drive and click on next and the installation will now be started. So you will have to wait here until it's all been done. Alright, so now after some time you will be getting to this kind of a screen that says something went wrong. So don't worry, there is nothing wrong. This is only because we did not choose the right location and so that's why it got confused. Okay, so what you have to do here, simply click on skip. Now you can choose the right keyboard layout, whatever you want to. Click on yes. Skip the second layout. Okay, now here you have to type the name for your device. So I can type it like uh, win and then click on next. And now here it says, how would you like to set up this device? So you can go with any of the option, but I say that go with setup, work or school and then click on next. Now it will ask you for the Microsoft account. So if you want to go and sign in with the Microsoft, you can go with it. But if you're not, then click on sign in option. Then click domain join instead. And now you would be able to create a local account. So type any name for your local account. Then you have to click on next. Enter the password, click on next, confirm the password and again click on next. Now it will ask you some kind of security questions. So you can just go ahead and type the question, answer the question. Choose privacy setting for your device. So if you don't want the location and all these things, then you can go ahead and disable all of them so that it should not occupy the resources in the background. Disable all of them, click on accept. All right, bingo. So now you can see that Windows 11 has been installed and looks very neat and clean without any kind of bloatware. But still, there will be few. And if I click on all apps, you will find few of them. Now, the best part is that the remaining bloatware you can manually uninstall. Let's say if you don't want the clip jam, the video editor, just right click on it and choose uninstall. Similarly, if you don't need anything else like Feedback Hub, go ahead and uninstall them. You don't have to use any kind of third party tool. Okay, similarly, whichever you don't need, go ahead, right click and uninstall it. Now, next, what you have to do, if you bring up the Microsoft Store, you will be getting this error that says the store is not available in your country or region. That is because we have choose the world location. So it's confused that which exactly country you are in. Okay, but it's very simple. Make a right click on the Windows icon. Click on settings. From the left in menu option, you have to have to scroll down and click on time and language. And here click on language and region. And now where it says country or region world, now you can choose your desired location wherever you are living in. So let's say if you are in United States, so click on it. And now you can close it. And now this time, if you bring up the Microsoft Store, it will be coming up without any kind of problem. Now, another best part is that if you now try to download and install any kind of application from here, like Spotify, and if I click on get, it will not be asking you to log in with your account. And you can see that I'm not logged in into my Microsoft store. That means you can download and install any of the store application or game without signing into Microsoft Store. So this is the best way guys to deep load Windows 11 while installing and having the less bloatware so that you can get the best performance. 
and that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye